what's up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to another video and good morning so this morning we are going to be throwing snow chains make a chain video for you guys and just never been in a good position to do it but at the same time I've wanted to be in the position to do it when it's actually snowing I didn't want to do it in dry conditions when you know it's easy to throw chains so um, let's uh, get our mind right because everybody knows it sucks throwing chains it's not fun throwing chains especially when it's snowing it's windy outside and it's cold and everything about it just sucks so the best thing you can do is just you know stay calm put on some warm clothes hopefully you got some insulated gloves like these these are the ones I use I get these at loves so they're insulated and waterproof um, yeah your hands will still get cold but um, at least they don't get wet and cold but with that being said, um, yeah, let's jump out, get these chains on, and get going down the road. All right, guys. So let me throw on my other glove. So I, I have a chain holder on the outside of my truck here. So I just need to pull that pin. Hopefully not lose the damn thing open this up and then I have mine set up to where I have my single chains on the back side and then I have my double chains on the front side of this with one single chain which I'd use as like a drag chain or steer chain on the front sorry about that guys my chains were all stuck and I had to get them on well tangled together so I had to get them untangled but might be angled down a little too far so as you can see I have a pile here so what you want to do is you want to get them untangled as much as you can lay them out flat if possible and then where you tighten them you want these on the outside of your tire so you can get to them. So, and then you just want to lay that over your tire. So lay that over your tire to where all these are on the outside. And then in the back, because I'm going to be pulling forward so we want all the extra to be up here in front of the tire so we can run it over and then for the back chain or the back of the chain I usually have it just barely touching the ground that way when the tire spins and you've ran all that over and you pull forward then it usually leaves this chain about you know up in this area on your tire so but let's go ahead and repeat that three more times and then we'll get on the road Right, guys sorry if there's <laughs> trying to keep the camera clean but geez it's snow it's a little bit windy um we got all four chains on we got the slag underneath the front of the tires 
So now that we got those on, let's jump in the truck, pull forward, and then we'll get out and we'll button it all up. All right, guys, as you, as you can see, we pulled forward. So that's all you wanna do is just get that bunch of chain just right behind your tire and not flip your uh, chains all the way over your tires if possible so that's what we have seemed to accomplish on all four tires you can see that the two over there still have the chains on them so let's go ahead and hook these up and go from there what you want to do is grab your your hooks and I usually hold the outside of the chain with my knee and then you want to take and eat up as much slack as you can on your spare links so this one I was only able to eat up one link and then on the outside you know essentially do the same thing This one, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that. Oh yeah, if we can get that second link. So, so in hell we might even be able to get the third one. Nope, not gonna get the third one. So, so here we go. So this one, you got the second link. And then out here we got the second link as well. But you essentially stick it in the middle and then just turn all of these. And this is going to tighten. Tighten your chains. It's already freezing ass cold out here guys. So sorry if the video's shaking and I'm moving around. I apologize, but like I said, I wanted to do this in like a real weather situation. I know there's videos out there of guys throwing chains all the time and in nice comfortable parking lots you know and in their uh you know the companies that they work for in their parking lots and they're like oh yeah this is how you throw chains it's like yeah why don't you film a video when it's snowy and cold and nasty so that's what we're doing today Get the fuck in there. Yeah, I got it! I got it! <laughs> Fingers are getting cold. They're starting to hurt. <laughs> it's not getting so easy to get these chains on now. Like I said, real world shit right here. You start getting angry. Good shit right there, boys. God damn. Uh. Oh. Well, I guess it would have helped if that some bitch right there was already tight. So that didn't help my my chain and skills. Alright boys, that's two down. I'm gonna do the other two. Okay, so we're grabbing our four. I don't know what the hell these things are called. I call them spider bungees. 
Uh, you guys can correct me, do whatever you want. Um, I just make up names for shit at this point, so. Hold on. I'm trying to spread the tripod. With wet, cold hands. <laughs> That's what she said. These things are pretty easy to use. Um, I keep them in my cargo compartment. Um, obviously, if you keep them in your cargo compartment, you can keep them warm. But like I was saying, if you keep them somewhere where they keep warm, it's a hell of a lot easier to put on the spider bungee. I know you guys will probably give me hell for calling them spider bungees, but starfish bungee, fuck, I don't know what they're called. I guess they're called whatever the hell you feel like calling them. you're freezing your ass off on the side of the highway trying to put chains on so but anyways guys as always I appreciate you guys for watching liking subscribing sharing uh, we're getting damn close to getting up there to 200 subscribers and I appreciate the living hell out of it so um, yeah with that being said Thank you to everybody for watching my nonsense, and I'll see you all on the next video.